great. Now I know what it takes. I'm putting a new face on the old one. Ready for anything. Playing with faith. Not a moment too late. Showing the whole world. temperature in New York City today is 55, but yet it's 90 degrees in here. Tell me, do you like the apartment this hot or are you smoking turkeys? <laughs> now, there's something wrong with the radiator, but I told the super. There's something wrong with the super, but did you tell the radiator? <laughs> Nell, it's not the super's fault. He said that the owner is cutting back on repair expenses. Oh, please, Addie, how can you cut back on nothing? Oh, I'm just gonna go get me some coffee. Oh, don't use the kitchen sink. The drain's clogged. What did you do now? What did you do now? Hey, don't yell at me. Why not? Because you're the one who keeps forgetting we don't have a garbage disposal. <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> I don't like it here. I just don't like it here. And you want to know the worst part about living here? We got a lot of mail, but ain't none of it ours. Now move. kind of silly talking to you through a closed door. What do you want? I just told you, I'm your neighbor. <laughs> if you're Tina Jacoby, I got your mail. It was mixed up in mine. I want to give it to you. <laughs> you... <laughs> you're welcome. No trouble at all. <laughs> Did you meet our neighbor? Oh, yeah, she was delightful. <laughs> I think the lady's hiding Nazis in her shower. Nell, you have been in a lousy mood for days. Let's go out. I can't, Addie. I have all this work to do. Oh, Nell, you always have work to do. Never thought working in the publishing business was a 24-hour-a-day job. Well, that's my company, Magdalen and Loud. We never sleep. <laughs> Why don't we go out? Why don't we try the Spanish restaurant downstairs? I mean, maybe it'll help you if you're cranky in another language. <laughs> I'm not cranky, Addie. Me, you know when I'm cranky. I'll kill you. <laughs> about this city. I'm telling you, the people here in New York are not as friendly as they are in California. Nobody ever comes up to you and say, have a nice day like they do in California. And you know why? Because they don't want Mel Harper to have a nice day. <laughs> ah, bienvenido, señoritas. I am Esteban. Your presence in my humble restaurant fills my heart. As we say in Spain, a day without a beautiful woman is like a day without sunshine. Please, follow me, please. Doesn't that make me feel better? When he finds out we're just ordering coffee. Oh, I don't care if you just came in here for a glass of water. Rafael, masawa, por favor, con hielo. Say, haven't I seen you two beautiful ladies around here someplace before? Possibly. We just moved into the building. Oh, yeah, 2B, right? Yeah, I'm Marty. I'm in the 2A across the hall. <laughs> I'm Addie Wilson. This is Nell Harper. And what happened to your accent? Oh, uh, well, uh, see, uh, I'm not really Spanish, you understand? <laughs> the food just uh, tastes more Spanish if you're greeted by a guy named Esteban than you would if you're greeted by a guy named Marty. 
<laughs> hey, uh, Raphael, where's the water? The burro break down? Back off, Marty. <laughs> So, uh, you live right across the hall from us. Have you been having as much trouble with the landlord in your apartment as we've been having in ours? Oh, uh, no, not at all, no. Well, uh, I'm the landlord. Oh. <laughs> Rafia, could you get me a loaded gun, please? Oh, you know, wait a minute. We better talk about this because he's liable to bring one. What's there to talk about? Our sink is all stopped up, our radiator's broken, the faucet's drip, and the windows are stuck shut. And just when are you going to fix them? We can't afford it right now. You understand? You see, I'm buying this beautiful new boat. Yeah, get me a torpedo! Chicks, yeah, it's really incredible. You know, you don't like it when we lie to you, and you don't like it when we tell you the truth. Will you excuse me? Ah! Bienvenido, senorita. I am Esteban. As we say in Spain, a day without a beautiful woman is like a day without sunshine. I should have stuck a fork in his heart while I had a chance. <laughs> Come on, let's go to another Oh, restaurant. sit your tail down as if you're going to another restaurant. I mean, for what? So we're going to just run into more rude New Yorkers. Well, come on, don't let that guy ruin our evening. You have got to snap out of this mood. I just, I just can't, Addie. Now, make it work. You know, everything you came to New York for is still here. I mean, just convince yourself that you're a New Yorker now. What's the matter, Raphael? The burrow break down? <laughs> I am glad that you decided not to let New York get you down. Well, it's gonna be hard, but I am gonna make it work. All right. Well, it's about time you got here. I told you I'd be back with the boys at three. But, Ma, it's only four minutes after three. That's what I mean. You're never on time. <laughs> when you were born, you were three days late. <laughs> Ooh, the pain. Oh, Mama, that's nothing in comparison with the pain I'm feeling now. <laughs> Mama Maybell, it was my fault we were late. You know, Nell and I just got to talking about New York. The boys tell me that's all she does, talk about it. You don't go to restaurants. You don't go to the theater. You haven't had a date since you moved in here. Just mope around this dusty apartment. Instead of moping, why don't you try mopping? <laughs> Have a nice day. Make it work, Nell. It's not gonna work, Nell. Nell we you just, just not get, in the get in the apartment. It's we'll make it work. It's not gonna work. We'll find a way. I'm telling you, Hattie, I should have never moved to New York oh, City. Oh, Nell, that is silly. You just shouldn't let your mother get to you like this. Oh, Addie, she's right. Just not fitting in around oh. here. I don't know. Maybe I should take a week off and just go back to the house in Glenlaw. Let some of that good old clean California air, you know, <laughs> help me to think this through. Yeah. <clears throat> I miss that house. I mean, I miss my room. Oh. You know, I miss the cute little way the linoleum, you know, just curls up on the kitchen floor after heavy rain. Oh, come on, now there is nothing back in Glenlawn for you. Yes, it is the house. I just told you. Oh, Annie, I should have never told Grandpa to come live with us. I mean, now he'll take any offer on the house just to leave California to come be in New York. Oh, no, Grandpa wouldn't do that. Besides, when it comes to business, you know, he's pretty smart. Grandpa? The man is still on the waiting list for a DeLorean. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey, 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 what's that? Peanut butter and jelly. Where you going? My room. Come here. You're not going to eat that in your room, are you? No. <laughs> then where were you planning on eating it? No. Oh, you too. Oh. Did you clean up your room? No. We're going to do it right after we watch cartoons. Matthew, come here. Why didn't you ask your brother, Joey, to clean up his room? I asked you one simple little thing. I said, Matthew, ask your brother, Joey, to clean up his room. And you couldn't find the time? Huh? When I hung up the wallpaper around here, did I ask you to help me? No. I 
hung it up all by myself. The only thing I asked you to do for me, I said, Matthew, ask your brother Joey to clean up this room. That's all I asked you to do, and you can't find the time. Now I want you to take that clean up button. Why didn't you do it? We'll be fine. <laughs> You may never live to see six. <laughs> now take that peanut butter sandwich and get out of here. I don't want to talk to you. Go throw it in the kitchen. Move it right now. Come on, Joey. Move it. Okay. <laughs> I don't believe this. See, when Joey was in California, he always cleaned up his room. I mean, look what New York has done to him. I can't wait to get back to California. Hello? Hi, Grandpa. It's Grandpa calling from California. How are you? Tell him I said hi. Addie said hi from New York. <laughs> yeah? Grandpa, that's great. That's great. Okay. Bye. Grandpa sold the house. Oh, Phil, congratulations. <laughs> Why are you crying? No, I can't never go home. Oh. Who is it? Ma'am, how am I doing? <laughs> Hi. Did you have a nice day? Oh, it was delightful. I hope it never ends. Well, I am so glad you're here. I have the most wonderful surprise for you. Oh, wonderful. Did my two little boys get home yet? Oh, yeah. They're in the kitchen with the landlord. He's taking a look at our sink. Oh, great. That he's probably telling them that a day without sludge is a day without sunshine. <laughs> well, never mind him. You just wait right here. I have got the most wonderful surprise. Oh, great. A surprise. Fine never stops here in New York City. <laughs> That's a clogged sink if I ever saw one. <laughs> you guys, why the long faces? This is Friday night? There's no school tomorrow? What? Tant Nell, she's been cranky and unhappy and she's been picking on us. You know, the other day she jumped all over Matthew just because he wanted to eat a piece of bread in his room. And I'm only five. <laughs> Uh, it's chicks, you know. <laughs> One little thing goes wrong and they get all emotional. You know? <laughs> Guys, I understand your problem. It's tough living with two women. Believe me, I know. I... <laughs> I ain't now. Hi. I didn't know you were home. Hi. You look great. I thank you. Beautiful. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> now, a day without a beautiful woman. It's like a day without sunshine. <laughs> I know where you got that from, and I never want to hear it again. I want you to get out of here and go to your room. Go. Uncle Marty was right. Chicks get too emotional. <laughs> the sink is definitely clogged up, and you have a problem. Well, let's forget about that problem. I want you to stay away from my kids, okay? You're the last person I want them taken as a role model, okay? Hey, kids need somebody to look up to. Someone to learn how to be liked, you know? For me, it was Warren Beatty. How <laughs> dare you desecrate the name of Warren Beatty like that? <laughs> it's like throwing a brick through a stained glass window. Uh, you out of town and sure are touchy. Yeah, we're touchy. You New Yorkers make us touchy. You just push. You you, you, you push us on the bus, you push us off the bus, you push us down the street, and you never once say, excuse me. I'll take that back. Once a New Yorker did say, excuse me, that was when he pushed me out of the way so he could steal my cab. Well, what for me? I'm from Cincinnati. <laughs> Don't try to make up. <laughs> OK, now, this is one Friday night. We are not staying home. Guess what I got? I told you, I don't have time to play games, okay? I have work to do. I have all these manuscripts to read, okay? Now, a chorus line, fourth row center. <laughs> you don't listen to me, do you? I 
I just told you I have work to do. I don't have time to see a chorus line. You know, I am sick and tired of this attitude of yours. I really don't care. <laughs> now, what is bothering you? It's the trade deficit. It's really got me down. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Just where do you think you're going? Out. Don't, Addie, please. Don't leave me, okay? Don't. What? Oh, just forget it. That is it. Not this time, Nell. This time, you are going to tell me. Oh, you wouldn't understand this, P.H. Nell, will you talk to me? Is this city? I don't think I'm gonna make it here. What? It's burying me. Scared, are you? Scared? See, I knew you wouldn't understand. Every day, I, I get these resumes from these college graduates that are looking for a job. And the job they're looking for is mine. I mean, everybody in that office has some big degree from some big university. The other day, they, they hired this girl in the mailroom. She has a master's degree from Harvard. She doesn't speak to me, but every time she comes into the office, she looks at me like a chicken hawk looks at a duck with a bad leg. <laughs> no. No. Do you think you're the only person who's scared? Do you? No, when I was in Glenlawn, I was one of two PhDs, and I was the only assistant dean. Here? Here I am one of 22 assistants. And everybody at the university has a PhD. Except for the cafeteria lady. <laughs> she gets hers next month. Are you really as scared as I am? No, I am scared out of my wits. You know what the problem is, don't you? It's this city. And listen, New York is just, it, it's, it's too big and it's too busy. It's, it's just too, too busy to notice you. It's too busy to care. I just don't think it's worth it. So, um, what do you think we ought to do? Well, I know what we're not going to do. We are not going to sit here feeling sorry for ourselves. Come on, we are going to the theater. I really can't. I just... Okay, suit yourself. But just once, I'd like to spend the evening watching someone else's problems. Look, if you change your mind, take the boys to your mother and meet me fourth row center. I'm Mrs. Jacoby from 3A. Oh, I didn't recognize you without the chain across your face. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was my mother. <laughs> no, that's not true. It was me. <laughs> the strangest thing happened. Someone left an extra cake in my oven. 
No, that's not true either. <laughs> I baked it. <laughs> Get in here. <laughs> you know, I just wanted to apologize for being so rude to you yesterday. Oh, you don't have to do that. Oh, yes, I do. You were doing a sweet thing, and I was acting like a crank, like a grump, like a... A New you know, Yorker, yeah. Oh, no, are you having trouble, too, huh? Oh, yes, sit oh. down. Oh. Are you new in town? Yeah, I'm from Glen Lawn, California. We're from Davenport, Iowa. Yeah. <laughs> you know, coming from a small town to New York City is quite a shock, oh, isn't it? God. Yes, it's a oh. shock, a shock every oh. day. But you know something? It's worth it. Like I always tell my husband, Vern, Vern, everybody here is in a big hurry, but they've got big things to do. <laughs> you always tell your husband Vern that. Then. Oh, yes. You know, in the hall, I was listening to you play that song. And it's like Frank Sinatra said, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. It's up to you. New York, New York. <laughs> but what does Frank know, honey? He's a millionaire and he lives in Palm Springs. <laughs> California. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Thanks. You know, we out of town. We have to stick together because this city will make us all nervous, Rex. Oh, yeah. How long have you and Vern been here? 32 years. <laughs> Married very young. Yes, yeah. okay. Just a baby. <laughs> well, I gotta get back to Vern. You know okay. how it is, make supper and everything. Say, would you like to come upstairs and have dinner with me and Vern tonight? Um, can I take a rain check? I mean, maybe tomorrow night. Um, thank you, though. But, uh, I think I'm gonna meet my best friend at theater. What are you gonna see? A chorus line. Go enjoy, huh? Tomorrow will be perfect. Okay. Oh, Mrs. Jacoby. Have a nice day. Have a nice... What a lovely expression. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Vern that. stay in Glenlawn, had we? Who is we? We? Well, you don't think I'd leave Gertrude oh. behind? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I took her on the plane, and you know, when they serve cocktails, I found she drinks like a fish. <laughs> oh. Oh. The boys are gonna be so happy to see uh, you. You know, Addie has just been murdered to live with the past couple of weeks. <laughs> And uh, you're perfect, right? Oh, I'm always perfect, yes. Uh, but we have a little problem about your, your apartment. Oh, that's um, right. The apartment upstairs isn't ready yet, Grandpa. Oh, don't give it a second thought. You see, on the way from the airport, I shared a taxi with a lady who lives on the east side, and uh, is my tie straight? Yeah, you little <laughs> devil. Yeah. Okay, well, you go out and have a good time, and when you get back, I'll have the couch all made up for you. No need. You know, this, uh, this is the Big Apple. She's Eve, and, uh, Adam's out of town, I'll call you. <laughs> 